Hey guys, Aaron here with a new video and first off we're gonna straight go into the giveaway. Uh, I also want to mention as well the shell rewards for the seasonal servers, which one to pick and why. I uh, For the giveaway I used a random comment picker for the giveaway and these names came out at the end of the machine. Names of the winners by the way are Migate no Kobe, Lil Prince and it's Sebs... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm butchering this one. I, I always ca call him Seb, so... Alright, Seb, you also won. <laughs> By the time the, the, the video is out, see a friend request from me. So uh, go on and accept it on Discord. I'm, um, however, um, Ray Shepard. So also be sure to be a console player from NA or EU to be able to redeem these codes and do so before midnight hits on Friday. So you got like a day and a half to redeem them. Congrats guys to the winners and uh, yeah I, I really hope Pearl Abyss let me do some more of this in the future. So swell seashells. What stuff should you get for your uh, seashells? Since these are a limited supply and you can't get more of these once you finish the pass and open the season leveling 8 box. The best items are obviously in the last category. I know, I know, Iron is ignoring free crowns from the first set of rewards. <laughs> uh, I feel bad right now, but second set is also kind of meh. Now the third set is where it's at. You can accept each reward in the set only once, so not one total from the entire set, but you, if you have enough shell, you, you, you could take like every reward one time, but we got limited shells, so we, we got a, the best ones. I would first get my rewards from the last set, and then if I get some shells left, backtrack and get something from the earlier sets, if I have like a, a few spare shells here or there. Anyways, so let's start out. The Kafra bundles. They're all right, they're not terrible value, but it's not entirely awesome either, especially if you get RNG shafted and roll the minimum value. On average you should get 30 or 80 Kafris out of these two bundles, but uh, it's an okay reward I guess. Now fail stacks, I wouldn't really waste my shells on this. You can exchange time filled stones for that and numerous things that give you stacks during the season. Also a 50 or 60 stack is kinda super weak. If these were a, a 100 or a 150 stack then yeah I would maybe go for them. but. Not a 50 and a 60 sad stack. Now, Secret Book of Old Moon and Castle's Blessing are alright, but I'd rather leave up a pre-order for these and snag one with silver, which you can always get more of and seashells are limited. Although, if you really need them, these aren't a bad pick, but 60 shells for 20 days just doesn't sit quite right for me. Now, Wizard Gossiping, while they on occasion give these out for free, doesn't happen that frequently and if you need to level a rare or limited pet this might be a decent choice because you can like smack a gospy into anything so you might be able to get your rare breed of pet up to a t4 however it's rng so your shells might just say uh, hasta la vista baby and jump into a nearby lava pit tier 8 horse Kinda rubbish. If this was a Corsair out of the box, awesome value, but a potential glue hazard waiting to happen? No, 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 thank you. Also, I I, I print like the eight horses like it crazy, so that no, not not this one. Season Boss Gear Exchange Coupon. I, I would get one of these. As to why, I will get into it quickly. When you finish the season server, you get an item that makes one Ted Tuvala item a pen Tuvala item 100%. This coupon turns it into a Ted Boss Gear armor version of this. So, as you probably know, Tuvala Gear cannot use Kafra stones, but when you convert it with this coupon, it can because it's an actual boss item. So it becomes a really decent seasonal reward and you can still pen this later on. However, this boss gear item cannot be sold on the central market. And on PC, we got one of these coupons for free with the graduation package. So I was able to exchange two Pentuvala items to two Ted boss gear items on the seasonal server. So a, a Ted boss gear item is an easy 1.2, 1.5 billion silver value, depending on which you convert it. I would convert either Tuvala gloves to bags or the chest to dim because probably they're, they're gonna you're gonna get the most value out of those i think if you exchange the boots you get muskins and you probably want um those uraguns and if you exchange the helmet i think you get the uh not not the griffin one uh 
um, the other one, the uh, the one with the 100 HP. I can't, can't even I can't even find the name. God dang it. Anyways, I, I would just do uh, the gloss or the chest first, and then next season you can decide on another piece. Now we get to the Tuvala weapon exchange coupons. Since we have tags on console now, these are not as valuable as having the regular boss weapon exchange coupons. And even now, those regular weapon exchange coupons are not as good as before we had the tag system. But personally, I am going to pick up a set of these because if I continue playing Corsair, I will likely be tagging her and all this Tuvala gear is gonna be almost useless well the armor can be switched to another character and the accessories as well but the weapons cannot and then you have like a, a sad character where you need to like buy four dead weapons for and that's like an easy 4.5 billion silver down the drain um so I, I will likely be giving my tuvala weapon set to my guardian which is a class that punches way above its weight and i park it somewhere for either bosses or in Ackman. now if you have a favorite class you like to play on occasions but that would benefit from this Give it a set of Tuvala weapons and armor, uh, or or you can like keep your Corsair or your seasonal character in it as well. It, it really depends, but I, I want my Guardian with a set of weapons I don't need to shell out 4.5 billion for. So, because I, I know the moment I need money, I'm gonna be like, hmm, that's a nice 4 billion I can sell over there, and the Guardian is gonna be without weapons. We all know how that goes. So, yeah, these are my top three picks from the list I, I would get. A set of three weapon exchange coupons for 40 shells, a boss armor exchange coupon for 40 shells, and the wizard gaspy for 30 shells. Or if you want to make some free monies and don't like the pet just going poof on one click, pick the Kafra bundles for 30 shells and that would be my 110 shells spent. I'm not sure if the max amount you can get is 110 or 120, I'm not totally finished with the level 8 box yet, so uh, but anything else you have left over it's not really going to matter what you pick at that point. I don't know. 